It's the thickest and oldest ice in the Arctic. Scientists thought it would be the last to withstand the effects of a hotter planet. But it's starting to break apart. Twice this year, the waters around North Greenland have opened up. Waters that are normally frozen, even in summer. This part of Greenland is typically the northern part of Greenland. It's usually very cold. It's usually uh, got a lot of sea ice there that can be three or four meters thick. It looks like the sea ice we have this year is quite a lot thinner. So that's quite unusual and not really what we expected to see so early. These satellite images show how since the start of the year, ice has been pushed away from the coast. High winds and warmer temperatures mean the ice has retreated the most since records began 40 years ago. And this graph shows how much the volume of the Arctic sea ice has fallen, more than 60% in the last 30 years, dropping to its lowest point this year. This could threaten the very survival of the region's most iconic inhabitants and also create opportunity for others. It's a very rare event, so in that sense, the possibility to have the entirety of, the, of Greenland uh, circumna circumnavigatable is, is very uh, rare. The early polar explorers, explorers for example, could not uh, reach these regions because they were closed by sea ice. The Arctic is the fastest warming place on the planet, providing the first indication of how climate change is having an impact, and it's happening much earlier than expected. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.